Here with uh, Kyle, your anthem, and what is your your worst experience on tour in your 15 years? You said. I think it has been with this band. Uh, we had okay. one tour where it felt like everything under the sun could go wrong with our vehicle. Right. Our engine blew up, blew like four tires on that tour. It was just the absolute Bad. worst as far as like vehicular problems. We ended up having to drop drop it off in like some state, I can't remember what state it was, and leave it there. And we had to rent a four-door uh, pickup truck and tour in that. Really? For like two weeks. Did you throw all the gear in the back or was you oh, pulling no, the trailer? We had our trailer still pulling still, the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. had like a diesel. It was, it was was a it was a really nice heavy-duty truck. As a matter of fact, I think it was called a Super Duty. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, it was so uncomfortable. It had to be crazy. And then when we got home, Ryan, our bass player, had to fly to where the van was and pick, pick it, it up and drive it, it home. <laughs> it just, it's got to be crazy. Yeah, it was awful. How about your best experience? Best experience. Um, best venue. Gosh, I have so many favorite venues. Right. It's like there's been so many good ones. Uh, this one's great. Yeah. Trees, Trees is awesome. Um, Scout Bar in Houston where we played last night is awesome. Um, I don't know, best experience, probably Carolina Rebellion. Incredible, we had like, I don't know, three or 4,000 kids and it was just a blast. Right. Oh yeah, it was phenomenal. And it was cool because there were a bunch of friends on that tour. Like uh, our buddy Foppy, who texts for Deftones, was there. And Nothing More, who uh, their drummer is a really good friend of mine. And it was it's always fun doing those fests because of that. Yeah, I, uh, I was especially stoked to see Ghost and Avenge Sevenfold. So stoked to see both of them. They were incredible. Ghost blows my mind. Yeah, though. You, have, you guys have three shows left, the plans uh, in the works for 2017 already, as you touched on a little bit. Yeah, um, you know, we have a tour in February. I can't say who with, but it'll be... That's cool. It'll be full U.S. and Canada, our first time going to Canada. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, and new music, new record. New record. That yeah. was the other question is, uh, you guys, do you have any music currently that you're working on, or we... Yeah, we uh, we actually play two new songs live on this tour. Uh, this song called Straight Jacket. Okay. And a song called Living Dead, which ironically, I was like on a horror movie binge one night and I was watching 28 Days Later, which is probably my second favorite horror movie. And I thought it would be fun to write a song about becoming a zombie, like oh. becoming one, not being, not escaping them, but Actually getting the thing the and zombie. turning into it. And right. Like the song is talking about that and talks about like telling your friends to run away and you know. That's kind of interesting. Are you, will you guys be playing that tonight? Yes. Okay. Yes. Tough question is uh, with all the great talent and uh, the market uh, is extremely saturated with live music and uh, everybody has a, a YouTube channel and uh, there's all this music out there. How are you guys, what, 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 how are you making money? The well, I would say everyone has jobs. Ryan tends like like one thing he does is he drives for other bands. All right. We're not on tour. He'll he'll be a driver. Cool. Um, I'm a producer. Awesome. I did like I did our record. I did the band Letters from the Fire. I did their record. Um, you know, and that's what I do. And uh, you know, as far as the band itself making money, I mean, the big thing is the road. It's you know touring and selling shirts and CDs and stuff on the road. Absolutely. Uh, Paralyzed has to be the number one hit with, uh, you know, uh, Vivo is showing about 650,000 hits in that range. Uh, uh, what What is your favorite song off of this current album that y'all have? My favorite song is I Won't Say Goodbye. It's the most personal one to me. It's about some stuff that I went through when I was a teenager with my mother. And uh, yeah, that, 
that song, not only is it just the personal aspect, it's my favorite one to play too. It's the right. I have the most fun playing. With the limited time that y'all have here, like at Trees, uh, how many songs will you guys play tonight? Five songs. Five? Good. Five or six, depending on, on the, the set time. Because there's like five or six bands playing tonight, correct? Uh, six, I believe, yeah. And, yeah. and who all is playing? Uh, as far as the tour package, it's Through Fire, Us, Get Scared, Nonpoint, and Escape the Fate. Cool. Uh, love the First World Problems video. It ends with, I don't want your money, I want change. What changes do you feel uh, we should make as uh, First Worlders? I think self-awareness is what the video is really all about. You know what I mean? It's like, right. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I recently went through like a pretty hard time on the last tour that we were on uh, where I, I had one of those moments where it was just like I realized you know like I mean we wrote that song two years ago but um, right. but every every so often I noticed that I, I have things happen that put me in check again and it's like you know you realize that you uh, you kind of complain and fuss about things that at the end of the day it's really pretty trivial doesn't matter yeah. you know what I mean like in, today in big I picture. caught myself doing it I was like fussing and ranting because my cell phone service was out and then when I when I get out when I finally like cool off I'm like it doesn't even matter yeah in the big picture you know what I mean like like I'm not starving I'm not I'm not dying from like lack of water or dirty water or right. anything like that I'm not, not you know my my town isn't getting bombed right you know people aren't you know all that stuff not there's, digging there's through just, a trash can for your next yeah, meal so much bigger stuff out there and it's like you know what I mean love the people who who matter and, and love as much as you can absolutely that's good, good stuff all right uh, here's a little fast track your favorite band Metallica. All time Metallica. All time Metallica. Uh, favorite food? Ooh, uh, uh, sushi. All right. Sushi. That's a good one. Uh, favorite drink? See, I'm from the South, so I'm inclined to say sweet tea. I was fixing to say iced tea. I'm trying, I'm trying to not do that so much these days. Yeah. Um, you know, it's mostly water, water. Uh, vitamin water dragon fruit the dragon fruit vitamin water cool what alcohol do you put in the vitamin water <laughs> <laughs> i don't drink uh, much no. um hendrix. hendrix hendrix gin okay that's that's cool um okay uh, what do you guys do on the road for fun between your shows on their on the route oh uh, we uh well we don't do a lot if we have a day off we usually spend the day off in a hotel room just like hanging out sleeping all yeah. day but uh catching up you know black friday we went out with people watched yeah that was fun uh you know just going and watching the madness yeah. it's just like insanity yes sir you know it's crazy all right will cruise with infrared magazine really appreciate your time awesome we look forward to seeing you guys hitting So, the next song we're going to play is a new song, and it's also the song of our cop called Living Dead.